G'day and welcome back to my channel. Now the Stingray really has started to take shape. There's so many things I've done to it. This is a continuation on from the last video where I started masking and I only had the silver on. This video I'm going to show you how I put all the masking on to do all the blue areas, yellow areas, the dark blue areas, the underside, the top side, the little dimples here and the nostrils. It all got done and the lights all still work. Well, we hope they do. Let's see. Yep. Well, it did. In that case, and the lights still work. <laughs> just edit there, Basque. I don't ever notice. So if that sounds interesting to you, well, just hang in there because we're going to roll the music. Well, everything's kind of gone yellow. Yes, yes. I've got out the Steiner Res. And this is actually an old one of mine. I have got a pirate thing on there because it did have some glugs in but I now use a sieve when I use this stuff so any worms end up in the sieve not in my airbrush now the reason it is all yellow is um it's not the final color there's going to be the yellow strip that runs down either side of the cabin and across the front here on the bow now I realized that just painting a bit of primer for that yellow area would bleed into the uh, light blue and I thought well there's no point having to mask up the light blue out and then have to unmask it and then mask it. I lost too much masking and anyway light blue will base very nicely with yellow which means that all my light blue areas are going to need sort of this mustardy color so that's what I've done that masked out for the silver protected everything else apart from the cabin because that's going to be dark blue doesn't really matter dark blue will go over everything so that's why I have primed everything in the mustard now I get the yellow on yellow will go beautifully over mustard the thing is yellow is a tricky color to paint like red is often you pre-paint white you prime in white and then put your yellow down because it comes up so much nicer same with red that often works a lot better so this way I know I'm going to get a really nice deep yellow and then I'll be able to mask that yellow off once it's dry and put on the blue so let me get on with that and I'll get a couple more layers done now I've got the yellow on here, nice bright yellow. What I need to do is mask that to protect it. I'm going to put the light blue on. Now there's a curve here and there's sort of no way I can figure out the exact shape. So what I'm doing is I know it's going to be parallel to the cabin. So I'm resting this pencil against the side of the cabin, trying to keep it at a sort of regular angle, give myself an idea of what that curve would be like. And then I've just got to freehand the last bit in there because that pesky little fins in the way. The front part was nice and straight, so that wasn't a problem. I used the tape pretty well just straight right up to the bow. Now with my very, very sharp scalpel, this isn't just your usual X-Acto knife. This is actually like a surgical quality scalpel. It's really sharp. You know, when a sort of accidentally slip, you cut your bloody ear off. So very steady all the way through. Bumping that fin off. That fin, that port fin, I bumped it so many times. The bloody thing fell off a few times. Oh, I tell you what, this has been a bugger. All right, so now I can rip out. I'm not too worried about damaging the yellow a little bit or scuffing it because that yellow is going to get overpainted now with a light blue. So it's just a matter of rubbing that tape and usually it'll lift. There we go. It's still stubborn, yeah. I've got so many layers of tape that um, and this knife, you don't really want to push it too hard because it'll just carve a big hole on the side of your boat. You don't want that. So gently as we go, just letting that thing run along and then I can pull away tape. But the surgical knife is the best way to do your masking. It's so accurate and so precise. Alrighty, that's all cut away and we've got a lovely, clean, curved edge to paint against. Two coats of blue later and that's looking quite nice. It, it really needed the first coat to lie down because I know some of the edges around where the tape was, probably too many fingerprints or whatever. But I'm very happy with that blue coat. It's nice and solid now. Uh, it'll need a gloss over it, but we'll do all that another day. For now, I'm just getting the base colours in. And I have to do this because to get the interior in, all this has to be painted. And I had thought of just painting the dark blue around the cabin, but I thought, you're going to go to all that much trouble and all the masking and everything involved. Just do the whole top area. Sure, when I join it again to the bottom, yep. Yes, I'm going to have to do all the joints, but they're mostly silver, so that's easy. And there's just a little bit of striping to come through here. I'll cope with that. So that'll be an easy mask up and respray. Now, let that dry, and then I'll come back, and I've only got to mask the fins and cover up the whole bottom section here, and I can put in the blue. Or I might cut out the nostrils. I might do the nostrils in the dark blue. Okay. 
Now these nostrils, they can be a bit tricky, but we've got at least an edge to work on. So what I'm going to do is just run the pencil sideways over so it actually marks out that edge for us. couple of rub overs and we have got a curve that we can cut on. So let's cut that out. So, those are cut out. They'll paint up nicely. It's been half an hour since this was painted and it's come out of the spray booth and it's sat here quietly and the paint appears to be dry to the touch now. So all that remains is to take off all that masking tape and pray that it actually has worked. Now there's going to be blobs and edges that are furry and you know a little bit of overspray here and there. That's part of the course. Hopefully it's not too much. Everything should be repairable. I'm really good with a fine brush. But anyhow, look, I'm, I'm nervous because this has been two days. All I've done is this. Eat, sleep, breathe and shit it. That's all I've done. Yes, so um, we'll start with an easy one. The back here. The tape is off and generally it's not too bad. There are a couple little furry edges. The bow here has a bit of <laughs> mess, but that's no problem because I've when I glue it together, I'm going to have to redo all that. Some of the little edging here on the nostrils touch up. All of that I can do with a brush and I'm used to that. I mean, my masking is never 100% perfect. I don't know anybody's that is, you know, unless you're absolutely brilliant at masking. I'm not. My masking is not bad, but there's always little bits that need touching up and I'll get in with a fine brush and I'll do with that. And I've got blue fins on there. You don't say blue fin too loud. Bass will run in here expecting fish. So that's all done. And I've also put some yellow here on the, uh, the chin. Because when you put these two halves together, I'm fine with all the silver here. That can be all silver. There's not a problem. Everything's silver. I can mask off my fins. That can all be silver. That's not a problem. But here, the very chin, it needs... Lello. Okay, so I've painted that now because what I can do now is I can click that in there and then I can basically mask off to paint that. Now, yeah, sure, you should do it and you should putty it and all the rest of it, but I thought long and hard about this because the electrics, because everything's inside this, there's so much that can go wrong and then you'll need to get back inside it. So I'm not going to. Mine's going to have basically, I'm going to use a trick to keep the halves together and I'm going to have access to be able to get inside there whenever I need to. And that's just how it is. It'll be a bit toyish, I know. But look, most of the time you're just going to see it like that. It's going to look great. 
especially if this is silver. So let's get on with that. I'll mask this, get some silver on. Bingo bongo, we're almost there. Now these little problems, they will disappear in seconds with a very fine brush. That's just about there. I'll keep working on those, but that should be pretty well perfect by the time I'm finished. You'll never pick it. Now to get the points on the chin here so they'll match up with the stripes at the top there, I've simply very gently painted that blue stripe down as much as I can. I know we really should sand all this and putty it up and everything, but as I said, I want to be able to take this apart for the moment to check on the electrics. So we'll see if it's all very reliable, I can glue it all up and basically putty that up and paint it another day. But with this exercise, I've just painted where those stripes start. So now, I know exactly where to mask. We are at the pointy end of things. Now I've masked these little like circles that go here, or the ovals, and they're this shape. So I made up a little template that fits these little uh, sort of bubbles. I think they're like a, either escape pods or maybe they're just little uh, pleasure sort of craft. I don't know, there's something, they're bubbles. That's fine. It's actually quite good. Much better than I hoped. So they go in there and they go down there. So there are both my bubbles and those of you that have been watching carefully will notice when I took the tape off I tore off the port fin again. I have removed that fin so many times so I have well and truly stuck it in this time and I'm going to put this over here and not touch it for at least an hour and let it set. In the meantime what I want to know is how did the masking go here? So I matched up the stripes to the top of the hull and these should join down here if we've got this all right. Who knows? It really should be done with it all glued together. I'm trying to be over clever and I think I'm stuffing myself. We'll see. Yep. Well, that's going to need some cleanup. <laughs> uh, I was having a lot of trouble with the paint. It really was going down very watery. Uh, but sometimes you can just, the paint's still a bit wet, you can kind of encourage it to piss off. Because the yellow is well and truly dry. Well, it's not perfect, but it's better, <laughs> and it'll do for now. Um, that all needs serious looking at. I will have to get to this one more time, because now I want to see do my stripes match up. Close enough. They'll do for today. I'm kind of over it. That really does need to be glued. Let's assemble the whole thing and see what we got. So there we go. It's looking more and more like a Stingray every time. At least 
it's all silver on the bottom now all the paintings done all the touching ups done there'll be more touching up there'll be things i'll see from the video and probably things you've seen oh, Harry, i missed that yes i know and hopefully that fin won't come off again i'm really annoyed about that lights are on in the cabin so let's uh try the little switch Yes, sometime later, one little pesky wire on the switch in the front there has somehow come loose with all the um, masking that I put inside it to protect the switches. Yeah, and I wrecked the switch. Uh, anyhow, as you can hear, it is making noise. And if we go down low... There you go. It's all happening. It's all happening. So I'll give it a little bit of light. There we go. So we have a lit interior. We have the full paint job done. It's been touched up. Everything works. We've got flashing this. We've got flashing that. Yes, and we have the stripes underneath the bow there. That is terrific. It's just about there. I've just got to put the glazing in. I've got to go around and find, check everything, make sure it's all still working. Currently, the cabin is on all the time. It's either on or off. I've got to make a little 3D part that will fit on the rotor for the switch, and it will switch on and off cabin as I switch on and off the flashy lights. So I've got that to do. I've got to put a stand on it and then, I don't know, give it a gloss coat and I think we're done. So that'll be next time. So that is as far as I have got with this Stingray. So um, I hope you enjoy that. How about I turn that noisy thing off? Probably won't go back on again. <laughs> All right, look, um, there's buttons down here and apparently if you say like, the like button lights up on the screen. And if you say comment, a comment thing goes. And if you say subscribe, the subscribe button lights up. Apparently, apparently. Yes, it's just all buttons. It's just new gizmos and new tricks. Because I mean, if that button lights up, you're going to hit it, aren't you? Of course you will. Yes. <laughs> That's it for now. I've been smelling too much paint fumes, I think. So it's goodbye from Australia. And it's Huru from Harry Udini. Oh, look, you've got blue paint on your thumb there, Harry. Yeah, that's not very nice. You should have cleaned that up. Ah, oh, that's that I don't even care what I'm doing. Oh, is, it, is that microphone still on, Basque? Woo!